Welcome to this series of videos for the Lenten resource Towards the Light. This video will give you an introduction to the program and an overview of its components. There are six other videos available on the website. These videos provide you with the Living Lent section of Towards the Light. At the beginning of the season of Lent, we are marked with a cross of ash. It is a public sign that our lives are not always what we hope for. Our attitudes, words and actions sometimes fall short of our best selves. On Ash Wednesday, we stand at a crossroad and are given an opportunity to reassess the direction of our lives and to reorientate where we are going. We ask God to lead us from the ashes towards the light of Christ's grace and mercy. For that reorientation to occur, we need wisdom, insight and a new perspective. In John's Gospel on the fifth Sunday of Lent this year, we hear that the light has come into the world and those who do what is true come to the light. Light is one of the most powerful forces in our world. The sun's light provides the energy for life and illuminates our daily lives. We have all marveled at a night sky full of stars and the mystery of the universe stretching out before us. We are in awe at the persistence of starlight to reach us across such vast distances. The light from the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest neighbour, has travelled for 2.5 million years before it reaches our eyes. For the author of John's Gospel, there could be no more fitting image for God's imminent and transcendent presence. Light is a theme that appears right from the prologue of the Gospel. In the beginning was the Word. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Later in the Gospel, Jesus declares that I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So important is the theme of light that the early church often referred to baptism as illumination. For those preparing for baptism at Easter, the catechumens in our parishes, Lent is the season or stage of purification and enlightenment. Pope Benedict XVI, in his Easter Vigil homily in 2005, emphasised the significance of the symbol of light at the end of our Lenten journey. The liturgy of the Holy Night of Easter after the blessing of the Paschal Candle, begins with a procession behind the light and towards the light. This procession symbolically sums up the entire catechumenal and penitential journey of Lent, but also calls to mind Israel's long journey through the desert towards the promised land. And lastly, it symbolises the journey of humanity, which in the night of history was seeking light, seeking paradise, seeking true life, reconciliation between the peoples, between heaven and earth, 
universal peace. The light of baptism needs to be renewed throughout our life. For we all know how routine and complacency can dim God's light in our souls. Through prayerful reading and listening to the Lenten Gospels each week, we cast a new light on our lives and our world. Like a summer shower, the scriptures act as a prism to reveal a rainbow of colours so that we can discern hues of God's grace and mercy. The psalmist reminds us that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Three of the Gospels this year are from the Gospel of Mark. The first and second Sunday and Passion Sunday. Mark's Gospel is the first Gospel to be recorded. He is probably writing for the Christian community in Rome who are suffering persecution from the Roman Empire. Mark presents a very human face of Jesus that radiates compassion and mercy. But the Gospel also reveals the depths of alienation and suffering in human existence right through to the agony of the cross. Mark's goal is to encourage and inspire the early church to be faithful disciples, despite whatever suffering and persecution may befall them. The cross is the culmination of Mark's gospel. This seems at first a mystifying paradox as Jesus is rejected, mocked, abused, and appears to be a failure. But it is through the cross that his true identity is revealed and the light of Easter gives hope to all who walk in darkness. As well as the scriptures, the church gives us Lenten practices, symbols and rituals to provide spiritual enlightenment on our journey to Easter. Like a sunflower turning to the light, these practices will draw us closer to the light of Christ. The Living Lent section of the resource will give you background information on these Lenten practices and symbols. St. Gregory the Great, in his Pastoral Rule, wrote about two vital qualities for Christian discipleship, contemplation before action and service. After the group has completed the gospel discussion and sharing, there is an opportunity to contemplate deeply from a still quiet place in the heart. This section, Light for the Soul, invites you to rest in God's loving embrace and to allow God's light to fill your soul. In the last section of the resource, Living in the Light, there are practical suggestions to fulfill St. Gregory's second characteristic of Christian discipleship, service. For each week, specific dates of a significant anniversary or memorial have been selected. Some of these anniversaries are from the history and traditions of the church. Some from world events and people who have inspired us through their creativity and leadership. This day-by-day -day approach reminds us that love is a powerful force in the universe. Small steps taken by many can change our world. We can take courage by these words from Henri Nouwen. Mostly, we have just enough light to see the next step. 
what we have to do in the coming hour or the following day. When we are able to take the next step with the trust that we will have enough light for the step that follows, we can walk through life with joy and be surprised at how far we go. In his letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul quotes a baptismal hymn. Awake, O sleeper, and Christ shall give you light. The theme of waking from slumber is a recurring theme for spiritual enlightenment down through the ages. Pope Benedict, in his Easter Vigil homily, remarked that while we can all become weary and that our faith can easily lack dynamism, this Lent, let us awaken, let us stand and follow Christ, the true life and the true light.